Sir Kenneth Arthur. OBE, November 8, 1927, March 11, 2018, was an English comedian, singer, and occasional actor. He was described as the last great music hall entertainer, and was primarily known for his live stand up performances. A lifelong resident of Naughty Ash in Liverpool, Dodd's career as an entertainer started in the mid 1950s. His performances included rapid and incessant delivery of often surreal jokes, and would run for several hours, frequently past midnight. His verbal and physical comedy was supplemented by his red, white and blue tickling stick prop, and often introduced by his characteristic upbeat greeting of how tickled I am. He interspersed the comedy with songs, both serious and humorous, and with his original speciality, ventriloquism. He also had several hit singles primarily as a ballad singer in the 1960s, and occasionally appeared in dramatic roles. He performed on radio and television, and popularized the characters of the Diddy Men. He was knighted in the 2017 New Year Honors for Services to Entertainment and Charity. His stage career lasted for over 60 years, and he continued to perform until the end of 2017, when his health permitted, he died on March 11, 2018, aged 90. Kenneth Arthur Dodd was born on November 8, 1927 in a former farmhouse in Naughty Ash, a suburb of Liverpool, to Arthur Dodd and Sarah, nay Gray, one, where his parents lived. He had an older brother, William and a younger sister, June. One, he went to the Naughty Ash School, and sang in the local church choir of St. John's Church, Naughty Ash. He was to live in Naughty Ash all his life, dying in the house in which he was born, and often referred to the area as well as its mythical jam buddy mines and black pudding plantations in his act. 2-3. He then attended Holt High School, a grammar school in Childwall, Liverpool, but left at the age of 14 to work for his father, a coal merchant. 4-5. Around this time he became interested in show business after seeing an advert in a comic, Fool Your Teachers, Amaze Your Friends, Send 60 in Stamps and Become a Ventriloquist. 6. And Sending Off for the Book. Not long after, his father bought him a ventriloquist dummy and Ken called it Charlie Brown. He started entertaining at the local orphanage, then at various other local community functions. His distinctive buck teeth were the result of a cycling accident after a group of school friends dared him to ride a bicycle with his eyes closed. 2. Aged 18, he began working as a traveling salesman, and used his work van to travel to comedy clubs in the evenings. 7. He gained his big break at age 26 when, in September 1954, he made his professional show business debut as Professor Yaffle Chucklebuddy, operatic tenor and sausage knotter at the Nottingham Empire. He later said, well at least they didn't boo me off. 8-9, he continued to tour variety theatres up and down the UK, and in 1955 he appeared at Blackpool, where, in the following year, he had a part in Let's Have Fun. His performance at the Central Pier was part of a comedy review with Jimmy James and Company. Also on the same bill were Jimmy Clitheroe and Roy Castle. 10. Dodd first gained top billing at Blackpool in 1958. 11. Dodd was described as the last great music hall entertainer. 12. His stand-up comedy style was fast and relied on the rapid delivery of one-liner jokes. He said that his comic influences included other Liverpool comedians like Arthur Askey, Rob Wilton, Tommy Hanley and the Cheeky Chappy from Brighton, Max Miller. 13. He interspersed the comedy with occasional songs, both serious and humorous, in an incongruously fine light baritone voice, and with his original speciality, ventriloquism. 14. Part of his stage act featured the Diddy Men, Diddy being local slang for small. At first an unseen joke conceived as part of Dodd's imagination, they later appeared on stage, usually played by children. 15. Dodd worked mainly as a solo comedian, including in a number of eponymous television and radio shows and made several appearances on BBC TV's Music Hall revival show, The Good Old Days. 16. Although he enjoyed making people laugh, he was also a serious student of comedy and history, and was interested in Sigmund Freud and Henri Bergson's analysis of humor. 7. Occasionally, he appeared in dramatic roles, including Malvolio and William Shakespeare's Twelfth Night on Stage in Liverpool in 1971, on television in the cameo role of the Tollmaster in the 1987 Doctor Who story Delta and the Bannermen, as Yorick, in silent flashback, in Kenneth Branagh's film version of Shakespeare's Hamlet in 1996, and as Mr. Mouse in the 1999 television movie adaptation of Alice in Wonderland. 
17, marking Dodd's 90th birthday, a fulsome appreciation by Guardian Theater critic Michael Billington noted that Ken has done just about everything, annual Blackpool summer seasons, pantomimes, nationwide tours, TV and radio. He was a very fine Malvolio. 18. Dodd was renowned for the length of his performances, and during the 1960s he earned a place in the Guinness Book of Records for the world's longest ever joke-telling session, 1,500 jokes in three and a half hours, 7.14 jokes per minute, undertaken at the Royal Court Theatre, Liverpool, where audiences entered the show in shifts. 19. Dodd appeared in many royal variety performances. The last was in 2006, in front of Prince Charles and his wife Camilla, at the London Coliseum. 20. Dodd toured frequently throughout his professional career, performing lengthy shows into his 80s, that often did not finish until after midnight. In his final year, he continued to tour the UK extensively, with his comedy, music and variety show. His final performance was on December 28, 2017 at the Echo Arena Auditorium in Liverpool. 21. He said the secret of his success was simply, I love what I do. 22. Dodd had many hit records, charting on 18 occasions in the UK Top 40, including his first single Love is Like a Violin, 1960, produced on Decca Records by Alex Wharton, which charted at number 8, UK. His version of Bill Anderson's song Happiness charted in 1964 and became Dodd's signature song. 23.